get right to it. The cocktail guru is back with us. Good morning, Jonathan. How you doing? I'm doing well. Good morning to the both of you. So excited to have you. It's the first time I'm meeting you, Jonathan. So I know you've got a few recipes for us to kick off the uh, July 4th celebrations. Is that right? That's right. And for me, it's all about simplicity and ease of production and service, right? So I have two drinks that are pre-made, pre-bashed, so you can actually bring them to wherever you're going uh, on the boat, at the beach, uh, house party, and it's easy to go. Do you, do you want to see what I have? Yeah, yes. Jonathan, okay, so I want to <laughs> throw this out there real fast, though. I had never actually, like, made a cocktail and bottled it. Mm -hmm. Again, with your following, we know this is something that you do on the regular. Are we seeing more people doing something like this, like, if they have to go to a party? Because, I mean, I think at one point you, like, kind of raise an eyebrow, like, you what is it. in that bottle, my friend? <laughs> right. No, absolutely. Well, guess what? The pandemic kind of brought this forward even more. So there are, you could go one of two ways. You could either do it yourself. I have one kind of a do-it-yourself version, or there are companies out there that make their own pre-bottled cocktails that are ready to go. I mean, I have one right here, um, a company called Barrelsmith out of New York State, uh, and I wanted to show you their Manhattan, uh, which is really delicious. Look, look, it comes in a little bottle like this, uh, or you could get it in a larger bottle like this, and literally, guys, all you do is you take a glass with Love ice <laughs> and you just you just pour it in. But you know what I like to do uh, with these barrel smith cocktails is get creative with my garnishes. Um, so you know you have to have the real uh, maraschino cherries, not the you know okay. fake red kinds in your Manhattan. <laughs> oh, guys, We're I mean notes. this is good. Please, you're taking you're literally taking notes. Good, thank you. Um, <laughs> No, uh, so this Single is, this serve. is hey. Well, time out, Jonathan. Okay, so let's do a little myth busting, perhaps. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. I have heard, worked many years in the restaurant industry, you know, when I was going through school. And if you had things that were already pre-made, the alcohol content was a little lower. And that's where I think a lot of people have that maybe connotation. Mm -hmm. I know I'm one of those people. Is that true for these pre-mixed drinks we're seeing out there? Well, yes. Technically, the, the alcohol content is lower than, you know, just a straight bottle of whiskey. Um, so, you know, you, you, you actually have to add water to make it a full on cocktail, right? So there's, um, you know, other ingredients in the Manhattan, for instance, there's simple syrup, there's orange, there's the whiskey, and then a bit of water to kind of dilute it a little bit. Um, and then when you add it over ice, it dilutes it even more. So yes, um, it, they're a little bit lower in alcohol content, but it's still the same amount of alcohol as you would get in a Manhattan cocktail. That's what or, I was wondering. That yeah. was what I was wondering, if it was the same amount of alcohol that you would get in that mixed drink if you it, were to order it. Yes, it is. But, you know, it, you know, you have these pre-bottled, these canned seltzers and things like that, yeah, which are yeah. probably lower in alcohol content than if you were to get a vodka seltzer at a, at a bar. Okay. Look, just add a shot to it. That's all you need. Yeah, that's an additional shot. No, we're fixing you know, problems I, here. I crack, hey. I crack open the can, I drink a little bit, and then I'll add, I might add a little bit more inside this the can. So, you know, there we go. <laughs> fixing problems here that. on the morning blend or adding two problems, depending on how you look at it. Hey, Jonathan, you've only got two minutes, though. Um, okay, we've got to get to this drink for the fourth. Yes. So um, this is great because my kids actually did a lemonade stand over the weekend. And of course, it's the cocktail guru as the dad. So the lemonade stand has to be creative. So we did a hibiscus <laughs> lemonade, you know, uh, hibiscus lemonade. And I use this hibiscus syrup, which is great from wild hibiscus. Um, and guys, what I did with the leftover hibiscus lemonade is I put it in a bottle and added rum to it. There I mean, <laughs> there's no shame. Uh, we brought it to the beach the other day. So with that, you've got your hibiscus lemonade that you can just pour over ice in a bottle. And I have these great edible flowers that I grow in my garden. These are called borage flowers. They're beautiful blue mm -hmm. flowers. And I just add that on top as a nice little garnish. It's a rum punch. It's a hibiscus rum punch, basically. And you've got the red, white, and blue on there as well, right? With the colors, with the hibiscus. Now, Absolutely what's the portion right. for the pour, Jonathan? The portion, so the rum. Uh -huh. So you've got, you've got about a third rum and then okay. the rest with the hibiscus lemonade. There you go. It's, it's oh, easy. Okay. Hey, Jonathan, before we let you go, I love when we check into you. It tends to be seasonal. What do you like in the summer? What are you seeing this summer? Any trends, any hip cocktails that are catching your eye? Oh, man. Well, you know, um, bubbly and refreshing cocktails are definitely still going strong. Spritzes and Prosecco and, you know, things that are reminiscent of Europe. You know, I love when I went to Italy and I had spritzes like all day long. It's amazing. And of course, the the pre-batched and pre-bottled cocktails are, are definitely a hot trend these days, guys. Hot trend. You got to no take a note on that one, too. There you go. Right? Well,
Well, Jonathan, as always, it's great to see you again. Cheers to you. Thank you so much for not only your information, but of course the drink recipe. We'll have all of the information on our website and you can check out the cocktailguru.com in the meantime. And you'll have to let us know where your kid's lemonade stand is because I am <laughs> sure it stands above the rest. It really does. And I'm going to double cheers to you guys. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. You need to come in studio. Can we make that happen soon? we got to get you down Let's here in Florida so we can actually cheers in person. What do you say? Let's do it. I am all for it. Perfect. <laughs>